Never Stop Learning Week 291, we're going to take a quick look at the Artboard tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. All right, so here I am with the Artboard already set up and ready to go. And to activate the Artboard tool, you want to jump into the Tools panel on the left, find the Move tool, just click and hold, and in the same stack, that's where you're going to find the Artboard tool. All right, so notice the cursor changes up, and the way this works is you just click and drag to draw out a new artboard. You can pretty much do rectangles and squares at any size that you need. You even get this cool annotation letting you know what size you're gonna be working with. All right, so now I've got a couple artboards here, but I wanna go through the options over here at the top. Starting on the left, if you click right here, this is where you could save off tool presets. So you could use the same tool on different projects. Over here for size, currently it's reading custom, because I have Artboard 4 activated. I'm gonna come over here and activate Artboard 1 by clicking on the text that says Artboard 1. Notice over here at the top, the size now reads iPhone 6 because that's the preset that I was using. You can click on the drop down menu and find all these different presets to choose from. All right, so if you've got some mobile devices, some desktop stuff, and you can choose whichever one you need. I'm going to go with the iPhone 5, and that's going to shrink my artboard. Now I want to try out iPhone 6 Plus, and that's a little bit too big, so I'll go back to iPhone 6. That works out great. Now, if you want to change the size from the preset, over here on the right, you've got your width and your height. All right, so you could enter in a specific value right in here, tab over, and then you see it updated here. Or you could use these scrubby sliders. Just hover over the text. Click and drag to the left to reduce or to the right to the increase. If you hold down shift, you're going to make a more dramatic change. All right, so that's what we have for sizing. Next, we have these buttons here that are going to help us change between landscape and portrait. All right, over here on the bottom, I've got Artboard 4. I'm going to click on it once to activate it. Because it's a landscape artboard, over here at the top, we have the option to switch over to a portrait. So I'll click on that, and that just rotates the artboard for me. All right, now I want to switch back to landscape, so I'm going to click on that. Now, notice if I hover over this transformation box, I am able to transform my artboard, but I'm not able to rotate it. So here I could change the size, or I could come over here to the top to make my rotation. All right, if you need to reposition them, just click on the name of the artboard and drag it around to the new destination. All right, so that's what we got for portrait and landscape. Next, we have this feature here. Currently, it's turned off. It's going to add a new artboard. Let's say I like artboard three, and I need to create another one just like it. I can come over here to the top, turn this feature on, click once anywhere in my document, and it's going to create a new artboard that matches artboard three. Now, another way to do that is just by using these buttons here. You might have noticed these circles with the plus in the middle. If I click on that, it's gonna create a new artboard exactly like the one I had targeted, but just to the right of it. All right, so the last feature we have is gonna be this one for alignment. If I click on the drop down, everything is grayed out because I only have one artboard selected. All right, I'm gonna reposition this guy. Now, there's a couple different ways to select your artboards. You could come over here to the Layers panel and manually do it in here. But instead of going away from my document, I want to stay in my document. Currently, I have Artboard 3 selected. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key. And that's going to bring up Artboard 2 when I click on it. And I'm going to keep my Shift key held down as I click on Artboard 4. Notice over here in the Layers panel, I have Artboard 4, 3, and 2 selected. Now, when I come back over here to the top, I have all these different options to choose from. I'm going to go with horizontal centers, and that's going to clean things up for me here. So it's going to help keep things organized. You could also distribute the heights. There you go. And that just made a quick adjustment for Artboard 3. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the Artboard tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017.